it's about that time to make another video. You're gonna have to excuse me. My voice is kind of fucked up. I have a sore throat, but we're gonna power through a video today. I have a hair dryer, and I've been asked a lot of times, can you shrink window tent with a hair dryer? And I've pretty much just every time said, no, get a heat gun because they're stupid cheap. But I think the reason that I get asked so much is because somebody has maybe a couple doors that they're trying to do or something small. They don't want to invest $20 in a heat gun um, or they don't know what one to get. So, you know, you have a hair dryer laying around the house. Does it work with window tint? Today, we're gonna go into the shop and we're gonna find out. I don't know what we're gonna find out on, but we're gonna find out if it works. So I have our Revlon hair dryer. Um, this was just 20 bucks at Meijer. Normally, we'd use either like a Wagner heat gun or I also have this Porter cable heat gun, which I like better than the Wagner. Um, but I think for a dollar to dollar comparison, this is gonna run you the same price, but you already might have this in your household, so we're gonna see if it works. We're gonna crank this puppy on high. Gonna heat up. I'm also going to try turning down the air. That way it might stay a little bit hotter. You can see it gets to like a certain point and then it just stops. Well, that'll work. It's shrunk enough, but I'd want to shrink it just a little bit more. But overall, yeah. Yeah, you could do that for, for just one window. So in comparison, this is a little Wagner heat gun for 20 bucks at Home Depot. And in just a couple seconds, it's already shrunk, and that's really all you need, too, so. These things just get hotter way quicker, and uh, you need a heat gun to be about 1,000 degrees for it to actually melt the film. Um, but with the hair dryer, a little bit less, it can still get you by for maybe a door, but we're gonna put it on the back window and see what kind of a headache we're dealing with. We'll see if we can get any of this backlash shrunk. I'm guessing we might be able to do just a little top and then not very far. It's 
going a little bit. Now one thing to know is the farther down I go, the more has to be shrunk together. So that's why really you're seeing only maybe the very beginning um, shrinking together a little bit, but then it stops. Even that's not really shrunk very well either. But we got a little bit down. Overall, this will probably not work. Maybe if I had an hour to shrink back window, I might be able to get most of it done. But right towards the edges is really where you're gonna have a difficult time. Anywhere past really this point, it's just no matter how close that you get it, this gun is just a little bit shy of getting hot enough to actually uh, melt the back window. So, we're gonna swap it out, and I'm gonna show you the other two heat guns, actually. So again, this is the little $20 Wagner. It gets about 1,000 degrees. And right away, you can see, oh, there it is. <clears throat> the film starts shrinking. So this is my favorite heat gun, this is a Porter Cable. The reason why I like it is it gets a little bit hotter, blows a little bit more air. Um, it's definitely a little more heavy, but it's kind of built like a tank. So it's only, I think like 35 bucks. Sometimes you can find them on sale for a little cheaper. $20 Wagner will get you by just fine in 99% of circumstances. Um, but it just takes a little bit longer when the weather's colder and it just doesn't move as much air or as much heat. Um, but this thing uh, has been pretty much, I, I've had it I think now for about six months and it hasn't died on me yet, so it's been pretty indestructible so far. So I'm gonna let this thing warm up. Still warms up fast, shuts down pretty quickly. I'm gonna see the difference. The speed's not gonna be a whole lot faster. but it might be a little bit. Like I said, you'll be fine with just a little Wagner to get you started, but you need some type of heat gun. A hair dryer could get you by on a couple of doors, but unless your hair dryer wants to melt your hair, and that's the whole reason why it's not gonna work on film, um, it's just not gonna be quite enough for what you need. it so there you guys go hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like comment subscribe and whatever else any other youtuber says at the end of their video and hope to have a 
couple more of these up soon, so see you guys in the next one.